The Power of Influence. The Secret to Making People Like You. Written and published by Truth of Life. In the intricate web of human interactions, influence is a powerful thread that weaves connections and shapes relationships. The ability to make people like you, trust you, and follow your lead is not merely a matter of chance or innate charisma. It is a skill that can be cultivated and refined. The Power of Influence. The Secret to Making People Like You explores the profound impact that influence has on our personal and professional lives, and how mastering this art can transform the way we interact with the world. Influence is deeply rooted in psychological and social principles that govern human behavior. From the earliest days of civilization, leaders, philosophers, and scholars have recognized the importance of influence in building communities, fostering cooperation, and achieving common goals. The Greek philosopher Aristotle wrote extensively about rhetoric, the art of persuasion, emphasizing the role of ethos, character, pathos, emotion, and logos, logic, in influencing others. These ancient insights continue to inform modern understanding of influence, demonstrating its timeless relevance. This book is structured to take you on a journey through the various dimensions of influence, from self-perception and communication to emotional intelligence and cultural dynamics. Each chapter delves deep into these themes, offering a blend of storytelling and psychological reflection. The aim is not to provide practical steps or techniques but to inspire a deeper understanding of how influence works and how you can harness its power to improve your relationships and social interactions. By exploring the essence of influence and its multifaceted nature, you will uncover the secrets to making people like you, trust you, and be inspired by you. As you embark on this journey, you will discover that the power of influence lies not in manipulation or coercion but in authenticity, empathy, and genuine connection. The ability to influence others is a testament to the strength of your character and the depth of your understanding of human nature. This book encourages you to reflect on your own behaviors, attitudes, and beliefs, and to cultivate the qualities that make you a compelling and influential presence in the lives of those around you. Welcome to The Power of Influence, The Secret to Making People Like You. May this exploration inspire you to develop and harness your influence to create meaningful and lasting connections. Chapter 1. The Essence of Influence. Influence is the subtle yet powerful force that shapes human behavior and social dynamics. It is the ability to affect the thoughts, feelings, and actions of others through persuasion, communication, and interpersonal connections. Understanding the essence of influence requires delving into its fundamental nature and recognizing its pervasive impact on our daily lives. Influence is not confined to leaders and public figures. It is a skill that everyone can develop and use to build stronger relationships and achieve personal and professional goals. Historically, the concept of influence has been explored and revered across various cultures and epochs. Ancient Greek philosophers, such as Aristotle, dissected the art of rhetoric, which he saw as a cornerstone of influence. Aristotle's rhetoric outlines how ethos, credibility, pathos, emotional connection, and logos, logical argument, are essential components of persuasive communication. These principles have endured through the centuries, influencing how leaders, speakers, and individuals strive to sway public opinion and inspire action. Similarly, in Eastern philosophies, the art of influence is deeply ingrained in the principles of harmony and balance, emphasizing the importance of empathy, respect, and relational dynamics in effective persuasion. The impact of influence on human behavior is profound and multifaceted. At its core, influence shapes our perceptions, decisions, and interactions. It can be as overt as a compelling speech that rallies a crowd or as subtle as a friend's suggestion that sways our choice of restaurant. The psychology behind influence reveals that humans are inherently social beings, wired to respond to social cues and relational dynamics. Studies in social psychology, 
such as those conducted by Robert Chalvini, highlight key principles of influence, including reciprocity, commitment, social proof, authority, liking, and scarcity. These principles explain why we are more likely to be influenced by people we admire, trust, or perceive as knowledgeable and why certain techniques can effectively guide our decisions and behaviors. Understanding the essence of influence also involves recognizing its ethical dimensions. Influence can be a force for good, fostering cooperation, empathy, and positive change. However, it can also be wielded unethically, leading to manipulation and coercion. The ethical use of influence requires a commitment to authenticity, transparency, and respect for others' autonomy. When used ethically, influence enhances relationships, builds trust, and promotes mutual understanding. It becomes a tool for creating shared value and achieving collective goals rather than a means of personal gain at others' expense. As we explore the power of influence in this book, we will delve into the various aspects of how it works, how it can be cultivated, and how it can be applied ethically and effectively. By understanding the fundamental nature of influence and its historical, psychological, and ethical dimensions, we can begin to harness its power to enhance our interactions, build stronger connections, and achieve our aspirations. Influence is not merely about changing others, it is about understanding human nature and using that knowledge to create positive, meaningful impact in the world around us. Chapter 2. Influence and Self-Perception Influence begins with how we perceive ourselves. Our self-perception shapes the way we present ourselves to others, impacting how they perceive and respond to us. Confidence and self-esteem are fundamental to this process, as they affect our ability to project authority, trustworthiness, and likability. The thoughts we hold about ourselves create a ripple effect, influencing our interactions and, consequently, our ability to exert influence over others. Self-perception is intricately linked to our self-esteem and confidence. When we believe in our capabilities and value our worth, we naturally project a sense of assurance that others find appealing and trustworthy. High self-esteem allows us to communicate more effectively, assert our opinions, and engage with others without fear of judgment. This confidence can be seen in our body language, tone of voice, and overall demeanor, all of which contribute to the impression we make on others. Conversely, low self-esteem can lead to self-doubt and hesitancy, which others may interpret as insecurity or incompetence. Therefore, cultivating a positive self-perception is crucial for anyone seeking to enhance their influence. Positive self-affirmation and constructive self-talk are powerful tools for building self-esteem and reinforcing a positive self-image. The way we talk to ourselves shapes our beliefs and attitudes. Regularly affirming our strengths and acknowledging our achievements can help counteract negative thoughts and boost our confidence. For instance, repeating affirmations such as, I am capable, I am worthy of respect, and I have valuable contributions to make, can strengthen our self-perception and prepare us to interact with others from a place of strength and positivity. This internal dialogue sets the stage for how we engage with the world influencing our behavior and the responses we elicit from others. Self-perception not only influences how we feel about ourselves but also affects how others perceive us. People are naturally drawn to individuals who exude confidence and self-assuredness. This attraction is not merely about superficial charm but is deeply rooted in our psychological need for security and trust. When we encounter someone who is confident and positive, we instinctively feel that they are competent and reliable. This perception makes us more likely to listen to them, follow their lead, and be influenced by their opinions. On the other hand, if we perceive someone as insecure or self-doubting, we may question their credibility and be less inclined to be influenced by them. Influence starts with self-perception. By fostering a positive self-image and building confidence through self-affirmation and constructive self-talk, 
we can enhance our ability to influence others. The way we perceive ourselves sets the tone for our interactions and shapes how others perceive and respond to us. Understanding the power of self-perception is a vital step in mastering the art of influence, allowing us to project authenticity, authority, and likability in our social and professional interactions. As we continue this exploration, we will delve into the psychological principles behind why people like others and how these principles can be leveraged to enhance our influence and build stronger relationships. Chapter 3. The Psychology of Liking. Understanding why people like each other is crucial for mastering the power of influence. The psychology of liking reveals that our preferences for people are influenced by a combination of factors, including similarity, reciprocity, and positive reinforcement. These elements form the foundation of likability, helping us to connect with others and enhance our influence. Similarity plays a significant role in fostering likability. People tend to be drawn to others who share similar interests, values, and backgrounds. This is rooted in the principle of homophily, which suggests that similarity breeds connection and comfort. When we meet someone who reflects our own beliefs and experiences, we feel a sense of familiarity and validation. This connection creates an immediate bond, making us more inclined to like and trust them. For instance, Two people who share a passion for hiking or a similar career path are likely to feel a natural affinity for each other. Recognizing and highlighting similarities with others can therefore be a powerful way to build rapport and influence. Reciprocity is another key principle in the psychology of liking. This concept is based on the idea that people feel obliged to return favors and kindnesses. When someone does something nice for us, we are more likely to feel positively toward them and want to reciprocate. This creates a cycle of goodwill and mutual appreciation. For example, if a colleague helps us with a project, we are more likely to assist them in the future and view them favorably. By engaging in acts of kindness and showing genuine interest in others, we can foster a sense of reciprocity that enhances our likability and influence. Positive reinforcement including compliments and expressions of appreciation, also plays a crucial role in making people like us. People are naturally drawn to those who make them feel good about themselves. Compliments, when sincere, can boost someone's self-esteem and create positive associations with the person giving the praise. Additionally, expressing appreciation for someone's efforts and acknowledging their achievements can strengthen the emotional bond and increase likability. For instance, regularly thanking a team member for their hard work or complimenting a friend on their talents can make them feel valued and more inclined to like and support us. First impressions and body language are also critical components of the psychology of liking. Research shows that people form opinions about others within seconds of meeting them, and these initial impressions can have a lasting impact. A warm smile, open posture, and attentive eye contact can convey friendliness and approachability, setting the stage for positive interactions. Conversely, negative body language, such as crossed arms or avoiding eye contact, can create barriers to connection and likability. The psychology of liking reveals that similarity, reciprocity, and positive reinforcement are fundamental to building likability and influence. By recognizing and leveraging these principles, we can enhance our ability to connect with others and create meaningful relationships. Understanding why people like each other allows us to cultivate likability in an authentic and effective manner, paving the way for stronger influence in both personal and professional contexts. As we continue our exploration, we will delve into the art of communication and how it enhances our ability to influence and connect with others. Chapter 4. The Art of Communication. Effective communication is the bedrock of influence. It is through our words, tone, and body language that we connect with others, convey our ideas, and build relationships. Mastering the art of communication involves not only speaking well but also listening actively and empathetically. 
When we communicate effectively, we enhance our ability to influence and connect with others on a deeper level. At the core of effective communication is active listening. Active listening involves fully concentrating, understanding, and responding to what is being said. It requires more than just hearing words. It involves paying attention to the speaker's emotions and intentions. When we listen actively, we show respect and validation to the speaker, which strengthens our connection and builds trust. For example, when a friend shares their problems with us, giving them our full attention and responding thoughtfully can make them feel heard and understood, thereby enhancing our influence. Active listening also helps us gather valuable information that can guide our responses and actions, making our communication more impactful. Empathy is another crucial element of the art of communication. Empathy involves understanding and sharing the feelings of others. It is about putting ourselves in someone else's shoes and experiencing their emotions. When we communicate with empathy, we create a safe and supportive environment where others feel comfortable expressing themselves. This emotional connection fosters trust and openness, which are essential for influence. For instance, a leader who communicates empathetically with their team can inspire loyalty and motivation, as team members feel valued and understood. Empathy in communication can be shown through verbal affirmations, such as saying, I understand how you feel, and through non-verbal cues, like nodding and maintaining eye contact. The power of storytelling is another vital aspect of effective communication. Stories captivate our imagination, evoke emotions, and make information more memorable. By weaving narratives into our communication, we can illustrate our points more vividly and persuasively. Stories help us connect with our audience on an emotional level making our message more relatable and impactful. For example, a teacher using personal anecdotes to explain a complex concept can make the lesson more engaging and understandable for students. In professional settings, leaders who share stories of past successes and challenges can inspire and motivate their teams, making their vision more tangible and attainable. Humor also plays a significant role in enhancing communication and influence. When used appropriately, humor can break down barriers, ease tensions, and build rapport. It can make conversations more enjoyable and memorable, leaving a positive impression on others. A well-timed joke or a light-hearted comment can make us more likable and approachable, thereby increasing our influence. However, it is essential to use humor sensitively and appropriately considering the context and the audience to avoid misunderstandings or offense. The art of communication is a multifaceted skill that involves active listening, empathy, storytelling, and humor. By mastering these elements, we can enhance our ability to connect with others, build trust, and influence effectively. Effective communication is not just about what we say but how we say it and how well we understand and respond to others. As we continue to explore the power of influence, we will delve into the social dimensions of influence and how group dynamics shape our ability to connect and persuade. Chapter 5. The Social Dimension of Influence Influence is not only about individual interactions but also about understanding and navigating the broader social context. Social dynamics play a crucial role in shaping how we influence and are influenced by others. By understanding the principles of social proof, conformity, and the structure of social networks, we can enhance our ability to influence in group settings and leverage our social connections effectively. Social proof is a powerful psychological phenomenon where people look to others to determine the appropriate behavior in a given situation. This principle suggests that individuals are more likely to follow the actions of a larger group especially in uncertain or ambiguous situations. For example, if we see a crowd gathered around a street performer, we are more likely to join and assume the performance is worth watching. Social proof operates on the assumption that others' behavior provides useful information about how we should act. 
Understanding this principle allows us to use it strategically to enhance our influence. For instance, highlighting testimonials and success stories in a professional setting can encourage others to follow suit and adopt similar behaviors. Conformity, closely related to social proof, involves individuals changing their behavior to align with group norms or expectations. The desire to fit in and be accepted by a group can significantly influence our actions and decisions. Classic psychological studies, such as those by Solomon Ash, demonstrate how powerful the pressure to conform can be. In these studies, participants were often willing to agree with a clearly incorrect group consensus to avoid standing out. Recognizing the impact of conformity helps us understand how group dynamics can shape behavior and how we can influence group decisions by establishing positive norms and expectations. For example, leaders who model desired behaviors and create a culture of collaboration and excellence can influence their teams to conform to these positive standards. The structure of social networks also plays a critical role in the social dimension of influence. Social networks are the web of relationships through which information, support, and influence flow. Understanding the dynamics of these networks can help us identify key influencers and leverage our connections more effectively. In any social network, certain individuals hold more central or influential positions. These key influencers can amplify our message and help spread our ideas more broadly. For example, in a workplace, identifying and gaining the support of respected colleagues can enhance our ability to implement new initiatives and drive change. Social network analysis tools can help map these relationships and identify potential allies and influencers within a group. Leveraging social networks for influence also involves building and maintaining strong, positive relationships. Trust and reciprocity are foundational elements of social capital the goodwill and cooperation that arise from our social connections. By investing in relationships, showing genuine interest in others, and being reliable and supportive, we can build a network of allies who are willing to support and advocate for us. This social capital can be invaluable in both personal and professional contexts, providing access to resources, information, and opportunities. In conclusion, the social dimension of influence highlights the importance of understanding group dynamics, social proof, conformity, and the structure of social networks. By leveraging these principles, we can enhance our ability to influence in group settings and build a strong network of supportive relationships. Influence is not just about individual charisma or persuasion, it is also about navigating the complex social landscape and harnessing the power of collective behavior. As we continue our exploration, we will delve into how emotional intelligence can further enhance our ability to influence and connect with others on a deeper level. Chapter 6. Influence Through Emotional Intelligence Emotional intelligence, EQ, is a critical component of influence, enabling individuals to understand, manage, and effectively express their emotions while navigating social complexities. By enhancing emotional intelligence, we can connect more deeply with others, foster trust, and increase our capacity to influence in both personal and professional contexts. Understanding and leveraging EQ involves developing key skills such as empathy, self-regulation, and social awareness. Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, is foundational to emotional intelligence. It allows us to connect with people on a deeper level, demonstrating that we value their perspectives and emotions. Empathy involves both cognitive empathy, understanding another person's thoughts and emotions, and emotional empathy, feeling what another person feels. For instance, when a colleague shares their stress about a looming deadline, an empathetic response would involve acknowledging their feelings and offering support, such as saying, I can see how stressed you are about this project. Is there anything I can do to help? This empathetic engagement fosters trust and rapport, making others more receptive to our influence. Self-regulation is another essential aspect of emotional intelligence. 
It involves managing our emotions, particularly in stressful or challenging situations, to ensure our responses are appropriate and constructive. Self-regulation allows us to maintain composure, think clearly, and respond thoughtfully rather than reacting impulsively. For example, in a heated discussion, self-regulation helps us stay calm and focused, enabling us to listen actively and address the issue without escalating tensions. This ability to manage our emotions positively influences how others perceive us, enhancing our credibility and influence. Social awareness, the ability to understand and navigate social dynamics, is also crucial for influence. It involves being attuned to the emotions and social cues of others, recognizing power dynamics, and understanding group norms and expectations. Social awareness allows us to adapt our behavior to different social contexts, ensuring our interactions are effective and appropriate. For instance, recognizing when a team member feels undervalued and addressing it constructively can enhance team cohesion and morale. By being socially aware, we can better navigate complex social situations, build stronger relationships, and increase our influence. Developing emotional intelligence involves continuous self-reflection and practice. It requires us to be mindful of our emotions and reactions, seek feedback from others, and strive to improve our interpersonal skills. Techniques such as mindfulness meditation can enhance our self-awareness and emotional regulation, while active listening and empathy-building exercises can strengthen our capacity for empathy and social awareness. Cultivating these skills not only enhances our influence but also contributes to our overall emotional well-being and personal growth. Emotional intelligence is a powerful tool for influence, enabling us to connect deeply with others, manage our emotions effectively, and navigate social complexities with skill and grace. By developing empathy, self-regulation, and social awareness, we can enhance our ability to influence positively and authentically. As we continue to explore the power of influence, we will examine the ethical considerations involved and the importance of maintaining integrity and trust in our efforts to influence others. Chapter 7. The Ethics of Influence. The power of influence is a double-edged sword, capable of achieving great good or causing significant harm depending on how it is wielded. Ethical considerations in using influence are paramount to ensure that our actions are aligned with integrity and respect for others. Ethical influence involves balancing authenticity and persuasion without resorting to manipulation, maintaining transparency, and fostering trust. Authenticity is the cornerstone of ethical influence. It requires that our actions and words are genuine and reflective of our true intentions and values. Authenticity fosters trust, as people are more likely to be influenced by those they perceive as honest and sincere. For example, a leader who openly shares their vision and values, and demonstrates consistency between their words and actions, is likely to inspire trust and loyalty among their followers. Authenticity also involves acknowledging our limitations and being honest about what we can and cannot do. This openness creates a foundation of trust, making others more receptive to our influence. Persuasion, when used ethically, involves guiding others toward beneficial outcomes without compromising their autonomy. It is about presenting information and arguments transparently, allowing others to make informed decisions. Ethical persuasion respects the other person's right to choose and avoids tactics that manipulate or coerce. For instance, providing clear, accurate information about the benefits and potential risks of a decision empowers others to make choices that are best for them. Ethical persuasion seeks to align our influence efforts with the well-being and interests of those we aim to influence. Transparency is a critical aspect of ethical influence. It involves being open and honest about our intentions, motives, and the potential impact of our actions. Transparency helps to build trust and credibility, as it shows that we have nothing to hide and are committed to honesty. For example, in a business context, 
Being transparent about the reasons for organizational changes and how they will affect employees can help to mitigate resistance and foster a cooperative environment. Transparency also involves acknowledging any conflicts of interest and ensuring that our influence efforts are guided by fairness and integrity. Maintaining trust is essential for ethical influence. Trust is built through consistent, honest, and respectful interactions. It is easily damaged by dishonesty, manipulation, or unethical behavior. Once trust is broken, it can be challenging to restore. Therefore, it is crucial to prioritize trustworthiness in all our influence efforts. This involves keeping our promises, being reliable, and treating others with respect and dignity. For example, a politician who consistently honors their commitments and engages with their constituents transparently and respectfully is likely to build a strong foundation of trust, enhancing their influence. In conclusion, ethical influence is grounded in authenticity, transparency, and trust. It involves using our power to guide and persuade others in a way that respects their autonomy and promotes their well being. By adhering to ethical principles, we can ensure that our influence is a force for good, fostering positive relationships and creating a foundation of trust and respect. As we continue to explore the power of influence, we will examine how these principles can be applied in professional settings to build strong, effective, and ethical leadership. Chapter 8. Influence in Professional Settings Influence in professional settings is a critical skill that can significantly impact leadership, teamwork, and career advancement. In the workplace, the ability to influence others determines how effectively we can lead teams, manage projects, and drive organizational success. This chapter explores the role of influence in professional environments and how understanding and applying influence principles can enhance leadership and professional relationships. Leadership is inherently linked to influence. Effective leaders inspire and motivate their teams through their vision, communication, and actions. Influential leaders do not rely solely on authority or positional power. Instead, they leverage personal influence to guide and inspire their teams. Authenticity, transparency, and empathy are essential traits of influential leaders. For example, a leader who communicates a compelling vision for the future and consistently demonstrates integrity and respect for team members is likely to garner loyalty and high performance. Leadership influence is built on trust and the ability to connect with people on a personal level, ensuring that team members feel valued and understood. Teamwork and collaboration are also profoundly affected by influence. In collaborative environments, Influence is not just about leading but also about fostering a cooperative spirit and facilitating effective communication among team members. The ability to influence in a team setting involves listening actively, understanding diverse perspectives, and building consensus. For example, a project manager who encourages open dialogue and values each team member's input can create a more inclusive and productive working environment. By recognizing and appreciating the contributions of others, influential professionals can enhance teamwork and drive collective success. Career advancement often hinges on one's ability to influence others. Building strong professional relationships, gaining the support of key stakeholders, and demonstrating leadership potential are all aspects of influence that contribute to career growth. Networking is a crucial component of professional influence. Establishing and nurturing a network of professional contacts can provide access to opportunities, mentorship, and support. For instance, a professional who actively engages in industry events, maintains relationships with mentors, and seeks feedback and advice is likely to advance more rapidly. These relationships are built on mutual respect and reciprocity, essential elements of effective influence. Case studies of influential leaders provide valuable insights into the practical application of influence principles. Consider the leadership style of Indra Nooyi, former CEO of PepsiCo. Nooyi's emphasis on empathy, 
strategic vision, and transparent communication earned her the trust and admiration of her colleagues and stakeholders. She demonstrated how influence can be wielded ethically and effectively to drive organizational success and foster a positive corporate culture. Another example is Elon Musk, whose visionary ideas and relentless pursuit of innovation have significantly influenced the technology and automotive industries. Musk's ability to articulate a compelling vision and inspire his teams to achieve ambitious goals highlights the power of influence in professional settings. Influence in professional settings is essential for effective leadership, teamwork, and career advancement. By leveraging principles of authenticity, empathy, and strategic communication, professionals can enhance their ability to influence others and achieve their goals. Understanding the dynamics of influence in the workplace allows individuals to build strong relationships, inspire their teams, and navigate their careers successfully. As we continue our exploration of influence, we will examine cultural perspectives on influence and how different cultural norms and values shape the ways influence is exerted and perceived. Chapter 9. Cultural Perspectives on Influence Influence is a universal phenomenon, but the ways it is exerted and perceived vary significantly across different cultural contexts. Cultural norms, values, and communication styles shape how influence is wielded and understood. By exploring these cultural differences, we can gain a deeper understanding of the nuances of influence and learn how to navigate cross-cultural interactions more effectively. In many Western cultures, such as those in the United States and much of Europe, influence is often associated with individualism and assertiveness. These cultures tend to value direct communication, self-expression, and personal achievement. Influential individuals in Western contexts are typically those who can articulate their ideas clearly, assert their opinions confidently, and demonstrate personal initiative. For example, in the corporate environment, assertive communication and strong personal branding are often seen as key to career advancement. Western cultures often celebrate leaders who are charismatic, visionary, and able to inspire others through their strong personal presence and rhetoric. In contrast, many Eastern cultures, such as those in Japan, China, and India, emphasize collectivism, harmony, and indirect communication. Influence in these cultures is often exerted through relationships, respect for hierarchy, and consensus building. For instance, in Japan, the concept of wa, harmony, is fundamental to social interactions, and maintaining group cohesion is paramount. Influential individuals in these contexts are those who can navigate social hierarchies skillfully, show respect for others, and facilitate group consensus. Communication tends to be more nuanced and indirect, with a strong emphasis on non-verbal cues and contextual understanding. Middle Eastern cultures often blend aspects of both collectivism and individualism, with a strong emphasis on hospitality and social networks. Influence is frequently exerted through personal relationships and social connections. Building and maintaining trust is crucial, and social interactions are often guided by respect for traditions and customs. In these cultures, influential individuals are those who can build strong personal relationships, demonstrate respect for cultural norms, and navigate social networks effectively. For example, in business settings, personal rapport and mutual trust are often more important than formal contracts. Understanding these cultural differences in influence is essential for effective cross-cultural communication and interaction. Misunderstandings can easily arise when individuals from different cultural backgrounds apply their own norms and expectations to social interactions. For example, a Western businessperson who values direct communication may be perceived as rude or aggressive in an Eastern context where indirect communication is preferred. Conversely, an individual from a collectivist culture may be seen as hesitant or lacking confidence in a Western setting where assertiveness is valued. To navigate these differences effectively, it is important to develop cultural competence, the ability to understand, 
appreciate, and adapt to cultural differences. This involves learning about other cultures, being aware of our own cultural biases, and being flexible in our communication and behavior. For instance, when working with a multicultural team, taking the time to understand each member's cultural background and communication style can enhance collaboration and reduce misunderstandings. Adapting our communication style to fit the cultural context, such as being more indirect in an Eastern context or more assertive in a Western context, can also enhance our influence. Cultural perspectives on influence highlight the diverse ways in which influence is exerted and perceived across different cultural contexts. By understanding and respecting these differences, we can enhance our ability to influence and connect with others in a globalized world. Developing cultural competence allows us to navigate cross-cultural interactions more effectively, build stronger relationships, and achieve our goals. As we continue our exploration, we will examine how to integrate the principles of influence into everyday life, using real-life examples and narratives to illustrate successful influence in action. Chapter 10. Mastering Influence Mastering influence is a journey that involves integrating various principles and insights into our daily lives. The goal is to build genuine connections, inspire trust, and foster cooperation. By understanding the different facets of influence and applying them thoughtfully, we can create meaningful and lasting impacts on the people around us. This chapter will explore how to weave the principles of influence into everyday interactions, using real-life examples and narratives to illustrate successful influence in action. One of the most effective ways to master influence is through consistent practice of empathy and active listening. These foundational skills enhance our ability to connect with others and understand their perspectives. For example, consider the story of a manager who turned a struggling team into a high-performing unit by actively listening to each member's concerns and showing genuine empathy. By addressing their issues and validating their feelings, the manager built trust and motivated the team to collaborate more effectively. This narrative highlights the power of empathy and listening in creating a positive and productive environment. Storytelling is another powerful tool for mastering influence. By sharing compelling narratives, we can capture attention, evoke emotions, and convey complex ideas in an accessible way. Take, for instance, a public health campaign that successfully increased vaccination rates by sharing personal stories of individuals affected by preventable diseases. These stories resonated with the audience, making the abstract concept of vaccination more relatable and urgent. Storytelling can transform dry facts into vivid, memorable experiences that inspire action. Building and maintaining strong relationships is essential for sustained influence. Relationships based on trust, respect, and mutual benefit create a network of support that amplifies our influence. For example, a teacher who consistently supports and encourages their students can profoundly influence their academic and personal development. The students, in turn, become more motivated and engaged, creating a positive feedback loop. This principle applies in professional settings as well. Leaders who invest in their team's growth and well-being are more likely to inspire loyalty and high performance. Ethical integrity is crucial for lasting influence. People are more likely to follow and be influenced by those they perceive as honest and principled. A politician who consistently upholds ethical standards, even in the face of opposition, can build a strong base of trust and credibility. This trust is invaluable as it forms the foundation for long-term influence. Maintaining ethical integrity involves being transparent, keeping promises, and prioritizing the well-being of others over personal gain. Another key aspect of mastering influence is adaptability. The ability to adjust our approach based on the context and the individuals we are interacting with enhances our effectiveness. For instance, a diplomat who can navigate different cultural norms and communication styles is more likely to succeed in negotiations. 
Adaptability requires an understanding of diverse perspectives and the flexibility to modify our strategies accordingly. This skill is particularly important in our increasingly globalized world, where cross-cultural interactions are common. Real-life examples and narratives further illustrate the application of these principles. Consider the story of a community leader who successfully mobilized a diverse group of residents to improve their neighborhood. By actively listening to their concerns, sharing inspiring stories of other successful communities, building strong relationships, maintaining ethical integrity, and adapting to the unique needs of the community, the leader was able to unite the group and achieve significant positive change. Mastering influence involves a blend of empathy, storytelling, relationship building, ethical integrity, and adaptability. By integrating these principles into our daily interactions, we can enhance our ability to connect with and positively influence others. The journey of mastering influence is ongoing, requiring continuous learning, reflection, and practice. As we cultivate these skills, we not only improve our own lives but also contribute to the well-being and growth of those around us. Embracing the power of influence with authenticity and ethical commitment allows us to create a more connected, compassionate, and collaborative world. The Power Within Throughout, the power of influence, the secret to making people like you, we have explored the multifaceted nature of influence and its profound impact on our personal and professional lives. From understanding the essence of influence and its psychological underpinnings to exploring cultural perspectives and ethical considerations, we have delved into the various dimensions that shape how we connect with and inspire others. We began by examining the foundational principles of influence, such as empathy, active listening, and effective communication. These skills form the bedrock of our ability to build trust and rapport, enabling us to influence others positively. We then explored the role of self-perception and the psychology of liking, highlighting how our self-confidence and the ways we relate to others can enhance our influence. The exploration of cultural perspectives underscored the importance of understanding and respecting diversity and in influence. By appreciating different cultural norms and adapting our approach, we can navigate cross-cultural interactions more effectively. Ethical integrity emerged as a crucial element, emphasizing the need to wield influence with honesty and respect, ensuring that our actions align with our values and the well-being of others. Real-life examples and narratives throughout the book illustrated the practical application of influence principles, demonstrating how they can be integrated into everyday life. Whether in professional settings, personal relationships, or broader social contexts, the power of influence lies in our ability to connect authentically, communicate effectively, and act ethically. As you reflect on the insights and lessons from this book, I encourage you to embrace the journey of mastering influence. Continuously practice empathy, listen actively, share compelling stories, build strong relationships, and uphold ethical integrity in all your interactions. By doing so, you will enhance your ability to make meaningful connections and inspire positive change in your life and the lives of those around you. Thank you for embarking on this exploration of the power of influence. May the knowledge and reflections shared in this book empower you to harness the transformative potential of influence, creating a more connected, compassionate, and impactful world. As you move forward, continue to cultivate the principles of influence, and watch as they enrich your relationships, elevate your leadership, and amplify your positive impact on the world.